So we're not taking those today? No, but we would be there in like 10 minutes with one of those. <laughs> They're so fast. <laughs> We're back at the plane today. Today, we're gonna to be fishing a super, super small spring creek in the middle of the desert, Nevada. I don't really know anything about it. It's all Trent's kind of told me. Uh, as some of you may or may not know, I have like the smallest bladder in the world. So flying in the plane is a little tricky because I'm trying not to drink too much coffee and too much water in the morning, but I'm also out here in the desert and I'm trying to hydrate. So fingers crossed that we can hold it and I don't have to have Trent land at some random landing strip. So we've got about an hour flight. We're just going way out into Northern Nevada. Beautiful little spring creek that's like in the middle of nowhere, high desert. I don't even understand how it exists. And how there's fish in it still rattles my brain, but it's, yeah, I think I already said this, mini golf of fly fishing. I'm just coining that because that's what it is. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this closed up and let's get going. Traffic, Freedom Fox making a left crosswind. We have the downwind traffic. We'll be departing northbound. And we have now reached our comfortable cruising altitude. You're now free to move about the cabin. They'll suggest that you uh, keep your seatbelt on in case of any unexpected turbulence. <laughs> what do we got for uh, snacks today? <laughs> They're in the back and we can't get to them. <laughs> we'll try left base, run eight. I'm gonna put you in our little Death Star Canyon. I've obviously flown it a million times, so I know that there's no power lines or any obstructions in it. And because it's descending, it's not likely that another plane's gonna be trying to fly this canyon uphill, like oncoming, you know? Yeah. It would be really stupid for someone to try to climb this, you know, map of the earth. But you're not feeling woozy, are you? No, not bad. Good. This Woo! is the one turn that might make you feel woozy. <laughs> oh my God. This is the lower section of the creek below the main reservoir. A lot of people come up and fish the reservoir. Um, I think most people just don't even think about fishing that tiny little creek that looks like it wouldn't hold fish. Right. Know? And we made it and we didn't die. <laughs> it's always a plus, man. We made it with no bathroom stops either. No, that's a positive too. We had plenty of options. I was waiting for you to ask. Shout out to my bladder. <laughs> <laughs> the real hero of this <laughs> flight. You think Tippet is much of a big deal here? Switching out rods today. We got the four weight. A little bit lighter, uh, a little bit softer, especially for the smaller creek. Trent's doing a full blown hopper. I'm gonna do a chubster. Let's have some fun. This was a cool one because I'd never been here on the ground. I just we scouted it on on it. So the touchdown was. Super, super rad. Hmm. Ooh, we got a big hole coming up here. so 
cool. Like you said it was going to be a small stream. I didn't realize it would be this small. <laughs> it's like, I've fished spring creeks before in the west that are much, much wider than this. But it's just like on a smaller scale. Yeah. Cut banks, dude. That's Cut banks and foam lines. I mean, dude, this is perfect. Oh, no, dude. Oh, damn, that was a big eat. Oh. I hope I didn't spook it, but there's one up here. Oh, me. Oh my God, that was a good fish. How did I miss him? There we go. Right after we stop recording, huh? They exist. There are fish in here. There we go, man. Not bad, huh? Nice, man. Nice little brown. There she goes. First one. Finally into fish, man. <laughs> Just took you having to fish, man. Sick. All right, you're up. Oh, oh is it the one up there? Uh, the next little pool, not all the way up at the top. 40 feet in front of you. Okay. So you see where this rock is? Five or 10 feet up, kind of at the pinch point. And there, I'll just be focused. Oh, you see that heat right here? No, on the, on the dude, bottom of it? on the bottom. This is a this is a good fish. It's like the bottom right, where, right before that, the, the riffle. And he's a little more right. Gosh, come on. Oh, there he is! That's a good fish. <laughs> yes, dude. Woo. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, you had to go. Switcheroo, baby. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that. It's still brown. It almost looked like a rainbow for a sec, though. Sweet. They're working, dude. There it is. Oh, that's a good fish. Chunky. Chunky. Crazy to think that 99% of people that come out here just drive right by this and think nothing of it, you know? Totally. E right above it. Yeah. See him? I sure did. That should get chomped though. You're going for the pool, right? Going for, yep, right above the ripple, right? Yeah. And then I'll drift into it. I think you need to be five feet up there. That was so subtle. See if he'll eat it again. Oh my gosh, dude. How did that happen? Pulled it right out of him. Now I'm stuck on your rod. So this creek might look like it's pretty dang easy, but I will tell you, 
Getting a cast in here is way harder than it looks. It's not easy to cast, and they do spook pretty easy. Oh, that was a big fish I just spooked. And they're really freaking quick fish, so they'll, they'll wiggle off fast. Oh gosh, go back in the water. Oh no. It's such a small window for you to land in this grass. It's very easy to get caught on. But if you land one, typically you get rewarded. Oh yeah, that was sick. Oh, he just sick. I saw you pass me in your limousine. And just seeing you brought Daddy. back my yeah. God. Starts to get good. Oh, I've lots of memories of our romance. Oh, hit that thing in the first. Yeah, <laughs> like paying bills and patching up your pants. Now you don't know me since your shirts are trimmed with lace. Well, may the kangaroo of love kick your face. When you oh, that's and a good one. Too. Shoot. Fun stream, huh? <laughs> Get it together, Scotty. We got Trent's plane right here. Just chilling. Our vehicle to trout today. We just stopped for a little snack slash lunch break. But dude, something I've noticed, especially as a pilot, you're constantly looking at what the weather is doing, not just the fishing, not just the filming. You have to be paying attention to like everything because there's an escape. Right. Yeah. I mean, I got to think of how we're getting us, not how I'm getting us out of here safely. Yeah. 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 So, Don't put me into it. I flew no. the plane yesterday. But yeah. That was no, like this is minutes. on me. So yeah, I definitely am sitting here thinking at all times, kind of making sure, Hey, we're getting home safe when the weather's doing stuff that wasn't really forecasted right now. This is fine. Just puffy clouds. But when it started to look like, Oh, there could be thunderstorms kind of brewing, which we had for a minute. That's when I'm starting to think, okay, keep an eye on that have an idea of how long it's going to take to get back to the plane if we had to get the heck out. Mm -hmm. Also, there might just be a chance that we go huddle, huddle under the wing and, <laughs> and wait it out. So. Which I'm sure has happened. Many times. <laughs> yeah. Pretty crazy when you just look around here, how barren it is. There's nothing. Just absolutely nothing. And then this little creek <laughs> so cool dude it's heaven on earth the <laughs> coolest little place to fly fish that you gotta wonder who first found this and then who first put like a fly in there and was like hold on guys <laughs> there's fish out here <laughs> <laughs> It's a rainbow! Yeah, nice little rainbow. We've been mostly catching browns. Nice to catch something else. Thanks, Mr. Fish. Good time playing. I mean, this is like what you would picture as a pristine western spring creek. Oh, yeah. It's just an eighth of the size. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the fish are there and they're eating and it's so cool. Well, they were eating and then I picked up a rod and now they seem to have gone away. 
Just because we're starting to feel a little wind pick up, and also we have and we got more adventures to go, so might be good for us to work our way back to the plane, try to get back home a little early so we can kind of rough out what the plan is for tomorrow. Um, just because we've been going pretty hard, and I think we caught enough fish here, so call it while it's good. Call it while it's good. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I think a good like portion of what I enjoy in life is exploring and that's probably what I like about fishing too is like mapping new water experiencing like more intimately all these locations that most people don't go and flying allows that in the like fastest easiest fashion and you'll see the little thing spewing up that's the geyser right there that's nature's airplane wash. What's cool about the plane is you're going faster than any car to get somewhere, but also we're gonna see more than a car would even when they're going slower. You know, you're kind of constrained with what you see on the road. And like right here, if I'm like, oh dude, let's go look at that. Like that, you can't do that in a car. Yeah. And then you can like totally map out areas that you wouldn't be able to do. And you'll still see more than you probably would have if you drove. This is one of my favorite feelings, so what we'll do is just get really low, get a land rush, and I think it drops off pretty good right here, so what it feels like when the ground drops away is always a, like, super fun to me. Oh my gosh, yeah. Isn't that cool? <laughs> It'll never translate on camera. Right, right. We made it home. We didn't we barf. Did. Proud of you. It got a little queasy, uh, but we, we, it's all good. We, we powered through. We got to see Pyramid Lake, which is really cool. And we were definitely chatting about potentially a winter trip next year. I've never done Pyramid Lake, so we'll definitely have to make that happen at some point. We do need to. You gotta just like have that notch in your belt. Tomorrow we're gonna be back here bright and early. Yes. Heading up to California to actually California's largest spring creek, the Fall River. And we're gonna get fished that for, uh, for the day, which should be pretty rad. Yeah, so we're going from like, one of the smaller spring creeks I think you could fish that have that many fish in it and then to literally the biggest spring creek. And we're fishing with Jay tomorrow, he's the man. Yeah. I'm excited for that. It's gonna be sick. See you guys in the morning. Seriously, this is unlike anything that I've ever fished. There we go. Yes. Ooh, dude, that's a I didn't realize that all there are in here are rainbows and they're all native. Yeah. They've never been stopped. Don't put this pressure on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, dude. <laughs> Someone else take over. <laughs> what are you going to say, Jay? What are, we, what are we doing? Getting your asses kicked, that's what you're doing. <laughs> well, you guys did it. You freaking sold out of these things. This is the fastest that we've ever sold out of any product that we've ever sold. So thank you, <laughs> that's so crazy. And I still got a bunch of messages from you guys who didn't get to pick one up. So what we decided to do is we decided to put in a reorder, a big reorder to get some more in, but that will be about three or four weeks from now. So if you do want to reserve one, um, we are running a pre-order on the reorder <laughs> and that is available on our website under the product. So if you wanna reserve one to make sure that you do get one when, when the restock comes in, um, check that out on our website. Again, thank you guys so much for just the overwhelming support on this this drop. Uh, it's truly incredible. I think it really shows how strong this community is and um, yeah, just kind of a loss for words. So thank you guys, go check that out. Link's in the description. See y'all later.